My name is Emmanuel Sampson, and I'm a student of strength because even though I've come from adverse situations in my life, from the loss of my parents to not really going to some of the most prestigious schools and living in the most prestigious environments, I found myself to live a very, a very blessed, a very promising, and a very, I would say, pretty successful life. Currently, I'm an engineer for Turner Construction Company in Boston, Massachusetts. A recent graduate of Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, studying civil engineering and engineering and public policy. I got here for many reasons, based on many different people. Um, I would say one was staying true to myself and who I was as an individual. Like growing up, you would have a lot of people who would just follow follow the crowd, follow the wave of people and what they were doing and things like that. But I would always try to, well, I wouldn't try, I would just be the eyeball out, which I didn't mind. Um, I feel like that gave me a sense of self, a sense of identity. And it really didn't culminate until, I'd say college, where I really realized that you know, in order to be a successful individual, you have to be an individual. Um, trusting God, I, my faith is, well, like others, it can be wavering, but there isn't a moment where I don't trust in the path that I've been led on, the people that have been a part of my life, the people that I may have lost in my life, and just knowing that all of those components play a role, a prominent role, as to where I am today and the man I am and the man I will be. I always put my family on my back. Um, and they're a prominent part too. I love them dearly. They always motivate me. I keep them laughing, they keep me laughing. And I'm a man of laughter. Uh, and that really keeps me happy. And seeing others happy, and the reasons why they're happy, pushes me to wanna just keep that going, keep them proud of me, so I can stay proud of myself. I got here for this mere fact of just pure inspiration. Not only being inspired, but wanting to inspire. I love kids. I don't have any kids now, probably later down the road, but being able to help children, whether it's academics or, you know, in sports, playing basketball, which I love to do, or just being in their presence, the mere idea of just being an inspiration to someone else and in leading them to be and do things in life that they've always aspired to be is, is moving. And that's something that will last far longer than cash and, you know, glitz and glam. I'll take those too, but it's, it's more about the, the feeling that you give someone else. Right now, I'm working towards creating my own program for just the bettering of young individuals, um, specifically young African-American individuals in Boston while I'm here. Um, I want to not only cater to you know, that sense of you know, driving and, and encouraging them for you know, stronger educational skills and things like that, but merely being an example, a role model to them of sorts of, you know, knowing my story and where I came from and what you can possibly do if you just stick to it. Life is not easy, um, and I'm a living testimony to that, but in the same right, you have to be willing to fight for what you believe in, but the first step is you have to believe in yourself. This is where I am, and that's where I started. Now imagine what you could be.